I'm not convinced. Oh, we didn't. Do we? I thought I did. We just had a dagger. Garris Hoon? No. Party guest? Nothing. Nothing. I've been this way. I guess we go again. See if we can find anything more. There's got to be something. Otherwise, it wouldn't trigger. That looks like a door to me, but it's not. Uh, where's my light spell? Fiat Lux. Sounds like a car. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. More nothing. Reese bottle. Nothing here. Nothing ever. Oh, is this a lift, maybe? Okay. Wait. Stand on a clean metal platform. A beautiful but antiquated elevator. There are some scuffs to show its age, signs of things dragged onto it over the years. But it seems to be in good working order. Let's go. What in the hells? I never knew this was here. This was always Cazador's private quarters. Only he ever came in here. Well, him and the unfortunate souls we brought to feed him. Yeah. Descend into the depths of the palace. By the falling water machine. That's good to hear. It was not a cold affair, I hope. Uh, Cazador's dungeon. What in the hells? I never knew any of this was here. Okay. My God, look at all that. Wow. It's got some sort of massive cavern. Yeah, I assume this is locked beyond lock picking. I wonder if these are gonna come alive. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Try it. 
The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. I don't feel like anybody's been here for years. What is that? Bones? The guild, hidden rulers of Baldur's Gate, letter to Mrel Alcam. Mrel Al Alcam. Uh, I suppose, as you say, you have reason to be proud of the expansion of the vampire circle in your city. Of course, Al Athkatla is uh, more homogenous than Baldur's Gate, and you will face fewer challenges from other factions and law enforcement. But still, accept my kudos and your progress there. Enjoy your success while you can, Alcab. For I'm afraid that very soon it will be surpassed by my situation in Bull's Gate. Definitely so. I'm on the verge of a long planned transformation and entirely changes the rules of the game. Excuse me. Too long. I've been content with merely uh, a major city's vampire lord uh, when I can be so much more and I shall. That's all I'll say about the matter. As present, at present, you're on an outcome. Uh, as all, we mustn't give away a surprise entirely. Kazadosa. Meditations of a Vampire Lord. The Journal of Kazadosa records movements and actions of his spawn, particular attention paid to Astarian, and every order of failure and punishment recorded with cold calculation. The only most recent entries portray any emotion. Seem to portray any emotion. Styron failed to return uh, from his hunt this night. Godfrey informed. He will have uh, he will have the pliers ready when the boy shows himself again. Still missing. I ought not to be surprised. The boy has always been troublesome. But no dis uh, but to disappear now when we are all ready is unconscionable. Even uh, for him. I have dispatched the brood. Uh, they will find him and bring him home. When they do, I will make him scream for this. Uh, it's been days and he's still missing. No amount of pain has motivated his brothers and sisters to find him. It seems Baldur's Gate swallowed him whole. I'm searching further afield, uh, but my reach uh, outside the city is limited. In the meantime, the hunt continues here. Darian Petrus uh, returned from today's hunt, rushing to report that he'd seen him in Worms Crossing. The tale was fanciful, but believed to be true. Astarian, standing in the sun's light, willing and able to disobey me, inconceivable. It seems that he's become more than troublesome. It seems he's now a, li li a, li a, li a liberty. But he will be brought to heal. Uh, he will come home and take his place with the others and complete my his purpose. My spawns fail me. Astarian eludes me. I will have my due. He's annoyed. On the pillow rests a skull with a scroll clamped in its bony jaws. The skull's empty eye sockets flare with an eldritch gleam. You feel invited somehow to witness the skull's memories. It seems urgent. Yeah, do it. This skull is all that remains of the vampire Velios. He turned Casador, gave him the gift and then taught him the rules of vampiric existence. Okay. Concentrate the memory. What is Valioth, Valioth's first lesson? Ooh, just. Valioth's first lesson is always to dominate. Allow none to be your equal. Valioth recalls when Casador reached out to a former friend. His punishment was to watch as Velioth drained his friend dry. What is his second lesson? Shit. Come on, I can do better. Oh no. You were distracted by an errant thought and lose the thread of Velioth's lesson. Nah. Velioth recalls when Casador rebelled against him. Casador suffered 11 years of impalement because he failed. What is this third lesson? Come on. God dang it. 
You let the shock of impalement allow your focus to waver, and Valioth's words drift away, yeah. lost in the mists of time. Velioth recalls Cazador, his lessons learned, killing him in the right of perfect slaughter. How they both laughed. Velioth recalls Cazador boiling the flesh from his skull, and then, to mock him, clamping his schooling scroll in Velioth's jaws. The skull's eyes flash a final time, and its jaws sag open. The scroll with all of Cazador's rituals is yours. Velioth is no more. Even his Black mass rituals. scroll. Where is it? Do I not pick it? I don't pick it up. I thought I picked it up. What? I thought I. Oh, there it is. Unfurling the scroll reveals a list of foul rites and rituals, dealing all, uh, detailing all the ways death can be turned to one's advantage or simply made more interesting. The Rite of Perfect Slaughter, liturgy, liturgy of the Dead, the Sacrament of the Damned, and many more strange accursed rituals cover the parchment. The final entry, however, is familiar. The Rite of Profane Ascension. A piteous dead, a ravenous dead. Immortality is your gift, but the darkness but darkness is your prison. A hunger that's go... Gowler? The right of profane ascension will release you. Walk in the sun, suffer not from hunger, grow your power beyond anything you imagine. A pact has been made with the Lord of Hellfire. Deliver him unto a thousand souls, seven thousand souls, each bearing infernal mark, and you shall be free of your chain. Uh, you shall know true power. Devil souls, speak the words. Fate, uh, Echus Dominus has animus eforo in sacrificio. Nuncus vulo postem quam. Politus es mihi. Okay. Uh, pale elf. We've got all these updates. Jesus. Uh, we found a scroll. Yep, 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 yep. We stood on the platform. It took us. How big is this place? Who knows, mate? Who knows? Jesus is blood. Got some gold. Always nice. We can probably make it over there. If that's what we have to do. Yeah, it looks like we may have to. Is this crypt gate? Hmm. Maybe I have to go down somehow. Okay. I did not expect to do that. I thought I was going to die then. Scroll. Nice. What is this? Is scroll storage or something? I really need to get back to my friends. They're up here.
Do I have fly? No. God damn it. Trust no one. Uh we can get down somehow, surely. Wanna dance? Someone there. It's just okay, I thought I didn't have fly. All right. Uh we can open that door the Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs. This door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Do it. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Never a dull moment. I need to heal at the ready. I don't know. You're saying don't know for. Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Is this how you used to live? Huh, hardly. Casador didn't keep me in luxury, but I've never seen anything like this. How did they get here? What is Casador doing with them? I should have guessed there was more to it than Raphael would ever have told. You. I know you. You're the one from the tavern. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You. No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. My name sounded like a lyric on your tongue. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. Damn. Who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my conquests. I pursued them, seduced them, and brought them to Casador. He told us he was feeding on them, but he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one, so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? How long have I been down here? Let him answer. One hundred and seventeen Oof. years. Oof. You were one of my first. Alpha. My friends. They're gone. Yeah. You took them from me. You took everything from me. We'll set you free. I don't know if we, this is not probably not a good idea. If we set him free, he's probably just going to attack us. I don't know. Let's try that. Free. 
will never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here. He's talking about you, Castle. mate. <laughs> oh, he's not you okay. <laughs> it's not possible. We'll find a way. And then, what happens to us? What do you want to happen? I don't know. I, I just don't want to die. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. I can't go and wait. We'll be back. You have my word. Okay. God's above. He kept Sebastian. I should have known what Casador was capable of. Ah, he's played us for such fools. And not just seven spawn to placate the devil. Seven spawn and seven thousand souls bound to them in blood. Everyone who ever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. You can't. You can save them. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. 